Now let's say you want to throw in some loops. Excellent idea. These over here are your file browsers. If you click on this, you can go to different places on your hard drive, the current project or the library. And once you end up somewhere, you can bookmark that by hitting bookmark current folder. And now let's go to remove. That's going to preview, and if your tempo is playing, it's going to preview in time. That way you can hear what it's going to sound like. Now all you got to do is drag this out into emptiness, and it's going to create a new track for it, or we can always create audio track, and drag it right where we want it. Cool. Uh, now let's say you have VSTs that you want to use, stuff that you've purchased. Um, those work just like the live devices, you just drag it on there. And then you can do this if you want to see it again. You do that to make room on your screen. Multi monitor support would be awfully great. And now we can see I highlight this, and we can insert a MIDI clip. Double click and now we can draw in some notes. We can also go to the draw mode. And then down here, we can change the resolution. We can do that wherever though. So now we have drawn some notes. When I click and drag up and down, we're going to get different velocities. Let's see what that sounds like. Clean. All right, now those do not sound like notes that are in the key. So let's go to our MIDI effects and grab the scale. And let's jump to the key of C major. Now, since I know we're on this track, I'm just going to double click and enter that right to four. That still does not quite save this. Now, here's a nice little trick. Let's just copy this, paste it down here. Okay, you can make things go up and down an octave, shift and up. And then. Cool, we're having fun. Now let's add some effects to that guy. Make a reverb. Awesome. 